Okay, now that we've finished our strike and depth, let's do some cleanup here. Get rid of these feature creations, stop editing, and now move to the layout. And so if you turn off your uh, underlying map and turn on layers, we see already uh, we've got a pretty nice looking map. And what, what it's important to recognize, there's two sets of zoom tools. There's these zoom tools that you can use to zoom on the data. And there's these zoom tools that let you zoom onto the layout. So let's take these and zoom in a little bit to see what we've got here. So we have already a pretty good setup. The map is looking quite nice. And uh, so we just need to do some editing to fill in the map title and so forth. Maybe move some aspects of the explanation around. And then also uh, do some simple editing of these descriptions. Okay, so let's just do some simple editing. If we go up to the map title, you can double click. And so you can say geologic map of Arnett Creek, Arizona. And you could change font size if you want, but I don't think it's needed. Okay, we've got a pretty good looking map title block. Let's move over here. These uh, this looks like we might be able to kind of move this over a little just so it doesn't um, overlap too much. One thing to not be too alarmed about is that there are some white, there's a white uh, polygon here that hides the map. So you see the edge of it, but don't be alarmed. It's, you won't see it if you print. So now let's go, let's clean up our explanation. So if you go, it basically says what to do, double click on the map unit polys, and then click, click on the symbology tab, right click on, click on the symbol color box, and edit the description. So now we can say, uh, this is the QG, which is uh, the quaternary colluvium. And for now, we keep the we can keep these short. You can just apply, and then you do another one. So we right click on this one, edit description. Notice here we don't yet have the Apache on the map, so it's not shown in the explanation. It's nice and dynamic that way. I'll still uh, write it down here. So late Proterozoic Now one thing I can do is I want to repeat late Proterozoic Apache group. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And hopefully then when I come over here to the Mescal, I can paste it. And then I just have to write Mescal formation, Mescal limestone. Okay, so now we're kind of having a decent looking map. We can kind of zoom out a little bit. So let's zoom to the whole page. And then if you click to the side, you can see that things aren't highlighted and looks good. Can maybe move the explanation over a little bit and down. You can double click on things and, and change fonts and so forth if you'd like, font sizes especially. Now, of course, we have the geologic map or the cross section below. Let's just leave that for now. And if uh, we can, we'll, we'll try to do it in G ArcGIS in a future lesson. Okay, so we've got a nice looking map and uh, obviously you will be doing more to map out the rest of the area and so then the explanation will be more elaborate. But let's say it were, we're done or you wanted to get a printout or some kind of export. So you can go to File and you can just print and see what happens, but mostly you're going to be better off uh, getting the P a PDF and so what I like to do is do export map and then 
I'll go just to the desktop to my work folder and then I'll say uh, this, it wants to make a PDF so uh, I'll just say maybe map v1 just because I'll probably do this a few times and you don't you can play around with some of these settings format pages etc but I think the 300 DPI resolution will be pretty good so then just say save if you're an Adobe Illustrator person you might be able to do some editing but uh, probably you'll be good with this just in uh, Adobe so then Let's go up to our, uh, well on this computer it doesn't quite know, so I'll just say Acrobat 7.0. And boom, there's my, my map as a PDF. And so most people are pretty familiar with how to uh, operate with a PDF, but you see it's a nice looking, pretty professional map. And you can experiment with it to tweak a little bit of your exports.